Today I want to talk about how many different types of microfiber towels do you actually need to get a good and consistent detail. Obviously the problem with buying microfiber towels is there's so many different kinds. Once again, the market is extremely oversaturated and it can make it very hard to understand what you actually need and what is just fluff, right? So I have gotten a quite a few different types of microfiber towels over the year and I'm just gonna show you guys what is actually useful and what I actually use on the day-to-day -day basis. I'm gonna start with the wash mitts. I don't think they're that necessary to buy. They're usually just really expensive microfiber towels with a handhold in them. I think like you can usually get away with doing thick microfiber towels, which are gonna be cheaper and have a lot more uses to them. And for that, fired. So I don't think wash mitts are really that useful like in the grand scheme of things. Like if you have them, great, use them. They're gonna do great. But if you don't, hold on. We got some more stuff to talk about. The reason I don't think wash mitts are that useful is you can get some fat microfiber towels like these. They're called the Eagle 500s. I talk about these a lot actually. And they're very plush, edgeless microfiber towel. And it's great for doing literally anything on your vehicle, except for tight nooks and crannies, like if you're trying to get on a cup holder and stuff. So I recommend using the Eagle 500 with any exterior application. So like if you're cleaning up polish, if you're doing rinseless wash, um, you know, if you're maybe not cleaning windows, you get the idea. It's very robust. It's going to provide a lot of protection for any dirt or particulates that are on the surface that might scratch the paint. Um, this will help to prevent any of that. And it has a lot of uses, whereas a wash mitt, you'd only use it for washing, but this, you could use it for anything. And I have a different color of them, a yellow one. Some people like to color code their microfiber towels for certain tasks. Like if I used the yellow ones for cleaning wheels, for example, I probably wouldn't wanna use it for also cleaning door jams just because the wheels are gonna be extremely dirty. So just keep in mind of where you're using the microfiber towel and how it might affect the performance long-term because when you're using microfiber towels in a very dirty area, even if you do wash and clean them, they're still gonna cling on to some of that dirt. And you notice this maybe with like leaves or larger chunks of things that kind of just get really trapped into those fibers. They don't come out easily. So if you go to use it again, you might scratch it from that prior application. I personally don't use a towel on wheels. You might have to though. Uh, some wheels can get water spotting. Most of them don't. But if you do run into wheels that do water spot, then I would use probably something cheap on wheels like this. Um, and I'll get into that in a second. So far on the list, we only really have, you need an Eagle 500. So they have a lot of uses and you'll find yourself using them a lot. And especially with the one bucket wash method of just using maybe like two or three of these in a bucket and just rotating them out or maybe only using them once or whatever, you're gonna need quite a few of these. And they are a little bit more expensive. I believe for a four pack, it's, it's either 20 bucks, it's something a lot around that. So the Eagle 500s do have a bit of a price tag on them. I bought these so long ago and they still feel like as if I just bought them yesterday. They're basically the same as when I first bought them, which is great. So they definitely have that longevity to them and that durability, which is exactly what you like to see when you're spending money, um, a little more money on something. Eagle 500 is definitely a good pick. By the way, this workbench coming in clutch, nice portable, uh, film station going on. The second towel you're gonna need, and I mean, you need this one. Uh, if you're doing any glass work, having a lint-free towel is extremely important. I have these McGuire's ones, but there's a lot of really good uh, lint-free microfiber towels out there. The reason you need lint-free on glass is because if you don't, and you go to wipe up any glass cleaner, there's a good chance some of the microfiber fibers will fall off the towel and onto the glass, and they'll just stick there because of like static or um, maybe it's just some kind of surface tension. I really don't know what the science is behind it, but um, it's probably static because of how microfiber towels work. It'll just literally sit on the window and it'll look like you rubbed a bunch of fuzz all over it. So if you don't have lint-free towels, then you're basically forfeiting really nice clean windows easily. Definitely get some lint-free microfiber towels. The one thing is, is if you have really dirty windows, these do not really pick up any of the dirt. So you're gonna have to do a lot of agitation with these kinds of towels. So if you have really extremely dirty windows, it might be better to actually use an Eagle 500 and then come back with a lint-free just to get that lint off of there and you know clean up whatever remaining dirt you have. The next, and I actually do think that this is probably gonna be your most general use towel. Um, these are called, 
I don't know. Um, they're from, I got them from the Ray company. They're like 200 GSM, so very low GSM, and they're pretty thin. The reason that I would recommend these the most, the applications you have on these is insane. So you could use this for any interior surface. You can use them for carpets, like um, either agitating or rubbing up any carpet cleaner. You could use them for wheels as well. You could use them for just about anything. I just wouldn't use them on the exterior because they're very thin and the chance of scratching is very high with them. These are really gonna be like your bread and butter type of microfiber towels. So anything on the interior, these will be used for, except for glass, obviously. Drying up like WeatherTech floor mats or literally anything, guys. Like, use your imagination. I think he's got a lot of potential, is what I'm saying. Man. Definitely recommend them. I'll paste the name on screen again because I forgot it. These are a nice middle ground microfiber towel that you, you have tons of application for. You could use them also to clean in your house too. If you're just doing car detailing, just focus on that. And there's tons of colors too. So if you wanna color coordinate these ones, it's a very good opportunity to do that. Whatever, oh Jesus. This microfiber towel um, is called the Woolly Mammoth and I hate this thing. It's like the worst drying towel in existence. So I got a three pack of them for like 80 bucks or some crap. Literally do not buy those drying towels. They're the worst drying towels in the history of mankind. I would use them. They wouldn't soak up any of the water. They'd leave a ton of streaks. It was just horrible. I hate them. But these ones, on the other hand, these are called the liquidators from Ray Company. These are literally the best microfiber towels. Or they're not microfiber. I think they're technically called like terry weave or something. Like if you actually look at the threads, they're like loops. So it's like uh, on your bath towel. It's like the same idea. You know, it cleans up your uh, wetness really well. And uh, like when it's on, when you're, whatever. It, when you're wet, it makes you dry. So why wouldn't it do the same for your car? If you can find a nice quality terry weave towel, like you're set. These things will mop it up. And these are really nice because of the, the size of them. They're not like too large, but they're also not like puny where you know you need like four or five of them for a car you can usually get away with just using one for a car and you know it's insane and if you don't want to do drying towels you could also use a leaf blower if you have that that would work fantastic um, leaf blowers are honestly probably a little bit safer because that risk of scratching isn't there but you're gonna be spending more time with a leaf blower because of you know uh, look drying towels super quick one wipe over. Leaf blower, you gotta go like this. Did you hear that? Son of the leaf blower. That was all me. These are just other plain microfiber towels. The difference with these ones compared to the ones I had before is they have a edge on them. It's like a silk edge, so it's not really gonna cause any abrasion, but they had like these tags on them that I had to rip off and that's just extra work that I don't wanna have. They're good microfiber towels. I believe they're 320 GSM, so a little bit on the higher side, but not quite as high as the other yellows. Here, let me just grab them. So these are a little bit thicker and um, higher density fibers than the Ray Company ones I was showing. I feel like I'm hitting like a, a nail in Chemical Guy's coffin here with their microfiber towels, but I don't think these are worth it when you can just get the other 200s. I think these are a little bit, you know, uh, overkill. They're not quite uh, where you want your microfiber towels to be because they do have those tags on them and you know you might ruin the edge because you rip off the tag the wrong way. So I've done that a few times on these and they're good towels but you know if you have other options definitely not recommend getting these. You can get them in 12 packs but it's not worth it. The last are just some like crappy Amazon microfibers I got. I just use these for like anything so you know if I'm cleaning like my exhaust pipes or which I haven't done that yet but you know I, I might I might so I'm doing any like really dirty job where I don't care necessarily if I'm scratching the surface and these are gonna be great you know they're really cheap too I think I got a 50 pack for like 10 bucks so definitely if you want some kind of extraneous trashy microfibers definitely recommend that but since we're just talking about car detailing and doing all of that. So here I have all the stuff I'd recommend. So nice terry weave drying towel, guys. The liquidator from Rag Company is what I have if you want the same thing. I love these, but there's a ton of other good terry weave towels out there. Um, these are not super expensive. I believe it's about, hmm. I don't know, I think, it, uh, I'll just edit it in. It's about $24. So it's not bad. And I got like a five pack of them. So they give you a discount when you get a certain amount. 
lint-free microfiber towels for glass and make sure with the lint-free towels you know sometimes you'll buy them and they aren't really lint-free like actually so just make sure that the ones you're getting are good i've had i've tried both the meguiar's and the ray company ones and they're both fantastic i will just note that the meguiar's one does come with a tag on it so it's kind of irritating so if you want something without the tag the ray company is the place to go and they're really called the ray company so they they make rags for a living <laughs> like why like why wouldn't you buy from someone who just makes rags they also sell a lot of detailing products at a good price so i actually get most of my stuff from them now because they have great like batch discounts and stuff i feel like i'm just advertising for these guys <laughs> at this point so the third towel is a nice low gsm not super low but like medium low gsm that's like good for you know literally any interior surface and then just like a nice fat one like the eagle 500 here i definitely recommend the eagle 500 like in name because I've not seen another microfiber towel quite like this one. It's really high quality and it's honestly one of my favorites. I wish I got to use them more, but I, like I said, I only really use them for door jams or washing. So it's not like I'm using them, you know, all that often. We've also got some the orange the eagles like, for you. you go, or they're red, red actually, they're red. 100% red. So sure towel. That if it's an older car really that matter. has an Okay, maybe I am using them you know, every now and then, that's besides the point. So yeah, we have four different types of towels here. And when you look at the market, there's like, sorry, there's like a duck in this pond over here. Hold up guys, you see him? So like I was saying before I get distracted, there's a ton of bloat within, you know, the microfiber community. I don't know. And just car detailing stuff in general. These are the only four towels I will ever use on a job besides the Chemical Guys ones. I, I use those because I want to get rid of them. These would be the four I would recommend for anyone, whether you're just starting or whatever you're doing, just stick to these four um, because you you won't ever really need anything else unless you need some trash ones like i just mentioned before but if you're focusing on what you need th that would be what i got right here like you can do a fantastic job with these four you'll have no issues you know you got your glass covered you got your plastics leathers you got your carpets you got your exteriors like that's everything you need you know there's no no bs nothing extra to it i hope you guys you know learned a little something about what to buy if you're having trouble figuring it out I know when I was looking, there was like, you know, the creepy, there's like, if you look at the rag company, there's a million of them, okay? I'll just scroll through it. It'll be like 12 pages of rags, okay? So, yeah. Guys, microfiber community unite. Or not, it's not a big deal. Okay, sorry, hold up. So one thing that I did forget to mention is kind of like how many do you think you'll really need of these? And a good way I like to think about it is like, how many do I need for one car? So that's my baseline, right? When I was buying and then I had to scale it to, okay, I'm gonna be doing three to four cars a week or something. Let's just say that's my thought process. So for one car, you'll probably want about four to five Eagle 500s. So I just recorded like, the last bit of segment and just cut out after 25 seconds like so it's important to have around five to six of the eagle 500s you'll use about two to three for the wash you'll use about one to two for the door jams and then you know it's always good to have an extra one in case you want to dry up or maybe wipe down any floor mats specifically the rubber ones with one after um, so you'll probably want around five or four to six of these Eagle 500s for the, um, what do you call these? These is like the mid grade 200s, whatever. I'll post the name up again. Um, you're going to want around probably eight to 12 of these. You're going to be using them a lot for the interior. So you'll use probably about two for two to three for all the plastics, maybe one to two for wiping up all the carpets, maybe three, maybe one to three for that. And then, you know, you also have, you know, all your trunks and there's a lot to it. So it's just good to have a lot of these because you'll use a ton of them just throughout your detail. And they're uh, pretty general use towels. So it's good to just have a lot of them and they're really cheap too. For the glass towels, um, I would recommend you really need only one to two for a car, but usually they come in a pack of three. So you're kind of just stoned on that one. You're gonna have to either get one or three, I believe. Let me make sure it's still recording. 
Can't believe it just randomly turned off. It's like not even close to out of power. It's at like 63%. I wonder if it was overheating. The last one is the drying towel. You only really need one of these um, if you're doing one car. So it's like one per car. So these quantities I give, or I just gave, are like basically the amount you would, you know, estimate you would use for each car. So that can kind of help you to scale, you know, how many am I gonna need if I'm gonna be doing three to four cars a week? Or how many, how many am I gonna need if I have two cars and I wanna do them every month or whatever. So I kind of hope that explanation helps you to understand like how many do you need and what kinds of tight towels do you need too? Because there's a lot of saturation in the market, like I mentioned before, millions of pages. This right here wraps it up really nice in a nice, easy bow. And you know, honestly, even with these recommendations that I have found that I like for myself, maybe you find you like something different. which is okay. Don't be uh, too concerned about that. Like from my perspective, I'm trying my best to give you guys ways to help you start doing detailing or so you're not wasting extraneous money because like me, I, I bought a ton of different types of towels like, oh, cool, shiny, you know, whoa, shiny object type of deal. And it's like, you don't really need that. You just need to focus on what's gonna work and what's gonna get the job done. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little wrap up again. I might have some black screens in there, I don't know. Getting into detailing, honestly, is the hardest part, but once you get in there, you know, you just don't wanna waste a ton of money anymore, so. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I want to be a little more informational for you guys. I feel like I feel like it's kind of important to actually have some, some good information in there for you. So I'll see you guys later. I love you guys.